then having dealt at such length with identity identification and authentication um, it may be surprising that we are uh, covering uh, authorization and accountability in in fairly short order um, this is not to say that they are not important. They are, and, and the important thing is to make sure that you do, in fact, do them. Uh, making sure that you determine the uh, levels of authorization. Making sure that you um, uh, uh, perform uh, uh, checks on, on the accountability. Uh, but... Um, the, the concepts themselves are, are fairly simple. And um, basically, as long as you do them, straightforward. They're, in a sense, already determined by what you do in performing identity management and what you do in terms of performing authentication. Um, now, uh, the authorization... Um, uh, we not only have the uh, the identities and uh, providing their rights, permissions, privileges, uh, but what type of rights, privileges, and, and permissions we we give people. And and we're going to talk more about this um, in regard to the uh, types of of access control systems. Um, which we'll be dealing with shortly. But, uh, it, you know, it, it is important to do it. It's important to choose the appropriate uh, type of system. Um, but it's, you know, it's fairly simple to ensure, okay, we've got uh, a particular identity. Um, we have authenticated that identity. We have provided... Um, some means of determining what kind of authorization that they get. And, and not just to the identity, but what type of uh, authorization do we provide to this uh, identity, to this uh, entity, to this employee, to this customer, to this client, whatever it may be. Um, and our standard three are read, write, and execute. Um, can, you know, in terms of confidentiality, we are concerned with uh, do we provide access to this information? Do they have read uh, permission uh, to this material? And, uh, I mean, that goes along with uh, uh, looking at the code of a program. Uh, it, you know, goes along with a, a number of things so that we can uh, say to someone, okay, you have the right to execute this program, but not read it, not look at the code. Uh, that is uh, something that we're not going to allow you to do. Again, you know, we, we want to separate out these things. Um, uh, read access. Uh, people tend to think that these are sort of... Um, levels that, that build on top of each other, and, and they're not really. Um, uh, we, as, as per the example that I just gave, uh, we can say this is uh, something that you can execute, which we would uh, generally consider a fairly high level of access, but not read, not, not look at. Um, so you can't see uh, what the code is is doing um, and and of course we have to be very careful with uh, making those decisions when we make those decisions when we look at uh, a, a system and, and are we providing uh, execute permission um, uh, when we decide about this employee is this an employee who is simply using the program or is this an employee who has to run an antivirus scan and so may need to have read permission to it. Uh, write permission? 
<coughs> um, yes, uh, basically, you better have read permission if you're going to have write permission. And I, I also tend to say, um, managers should have read access to everything and write access to nothing because uh, managers are far too prone to uh, correct information uh, when they really do not know uh, what the current situation is. So, uh, you know, we, we do have to be careful. We, we do have to make distinctions there. Uh, we've, we've also, you know, we, we can, in certain situations, uh, go into um, other forms of uh, access control, looking at things like, um, do we provide, uh, modify permission? You know, can, can this person edit the file? Um, do we... Uh, well, in, in some cases, that is, uh, say, uh, well, the editing of, of code maybe, but also in situations where we're adding to a database and we may be able to add a record, but not necessarily uh, correct or edit an existing record. So, you know, modification. Uh, do we have uh, delete permissions? And sometimes we have, you know, in, in combination with these additional uh, factors um, a full control uh, so that anybody you know, who has that can do basically anything with any of this information. Um, in terms of accountability, uh, trying not to miss any topics here. Um, okay, those of you in the back are saying, oh yeah, we're back to audit again. Yes, we are. Um, and, you know, like I say, do your audits on a regular basis. Make sure that you do determine that the audit is done. We, you know, we have to check. Are the people to whom we are giving access using that access appropriately, properly, doing their jobs with the rights and privileges uh, that we give them? So, again, as I said at the beginning, the important thing about both authorization and accountability is that you actually do it and make sure that it is performed and how it is performed is going to depend on uh, some of the systems which we are going to be looking at.